if we were to if we were to manufacture a scale from prism like a uh, 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 alignment chart alignment scale here is here is say so here is um two maybe d gen is probably better so we have in my own personal opinions these are my own personal opinions Yura, Yura's probably like I think on that the, she's probably more on the wholesome side I think slightly like she's not super duper duper wholesome but I think she's definitely more on the she's even said it herself that she's more of a say so <laughs> character. Yura plays in scenes on I think like Yura's generally relatively wholesome on like from what I've seen on Yura's streams I think she like. Um, I- she doesn't tend to swear that much, she's- she- her- her words are usually, like, um... I don't think it's necessarily, like, a comfy vibe, but it's like a gamer vibe. I get a gamer vibe from Yura, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're DJing. Yeah, I think it's the gamer vibe that kind of makes it feel like, oh, it's less comfy and wholesome. But no, it's like, it's just because- it's like, because you think of Yura as kind of like a cool girl? Like, that's at least in my opinion. I think that Yura is actually, like, she gives off super, like, damn, she's cool vibes to me. <laughs> So that's why that's why I think that like automatically you try and like um, people are like wait but that's the like you know if it's not comfy then it's gonna be the other way but no it's still like it doesn't it's not necessarily degen for it to be yeah so I think it's like that's the reason why people want to like sort of put it closer to the right end of the scale because they I think people have the tendency to think yeah cool is a little bit more you know sexy and sexy is a bit more degen necessarily but not I don't think I don't think that's not that's actually it. Like you gotta, you gotta look at the 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 person underneath. Yeah, I think it because she's playful. Like it, maybe I maybe I'd move it slightly to like just like slightly to here. And there's nothing wrong with either because I think like because I think a lot of people feel like there's gotta. It's kind of like all right to get a bit philosophical here. It's a bit like the Madonna whore complex, right? Yeah, so the perceptions of women are either that they're good, they're nurturing, they're motherly, they're kind, or that they're bad and they're like um. Yeah, it's a media studies thing. <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting little lesson. It's like a sort of unconscious bias that a lot of people have. But when in reality, a lot of a lot of people, like not even just women, but everyone, um, fit on different ends of the scale. Like it's not it's not so black and white. And that's why that's why even though we ha I've I've done the prism alignment scale, I want to illustrate that yeah, it is a scale. Like no no one's and even on either sides, no one's ever fully say so. No one's ever fully degen. So for lack of better term, for lack of better term. Um, it's just, yeah, it's all a scale, everyone's got their moments, everyone's a human being. <laughs> like, that's why, that's why whenever, whenever it's brought up, it's like, I can't ever say that I don't, I wouldn't say that I'm say so, I wouldn't say that I'm degen. I would just say that, you know, I've got my moments. I might lean towards, like, I might naturally lean towards one more, one aspect than the other. But yeah, at the end of the day, you gotta just be yourself. You just gotta be yourself. But yeah, it's, it's meant to be like, it was meant to be like a way to sort of like uh, unpack, like it's kind of an older um, dichotomy, but like I sometimes see it in like the, in the VTuber space where a lot of people are either designated you're a lewd tuber or you're a say so tuber. And if you go against what I think you are, um, I will try and pigeonhole you back into that hole. <laughs> And I think it's like because people do like to label people. People people do like to categorize. Um, because it, it kind of helps them make sense of the world. Like it's a very natural human thing to want to do that. Um, so I, I wouldn't, I, I say that like, I don't think that anyone's like necessarily wrong for like wanting to make sure like, all right, these are my, <laughs> these are my say so tubers. Um, I, I'm so sorry that we're like getting like all philosophical in the chat. <laughs> I I feel like sometimes I bring up these deep conversations, like these slightly too deep, uncom slightly uncomfortable conversa conversations. And it, and it feels like, um, <laughs> I'm just here to be entertaining, but here I am trying to get everyone to think. <laughs> Please, sorry, I just got home from work. I don't want to think. Please just do something funny and adorable. <laughs>